who are even at risk for it, have a whole new team of support in the tri-state. Tonight on Local 12, medical reporter Liz Bonus shares why Pink Ribbon Girls is now expanding to add a touch of teal. I'm 31 years old. I have three beautiful children. Just about a year ago, when Mary Susan Vinsky began having abdominal pain, she had a tough time finding out what was wrong. After multiple trips to the hospital and multiple surgeries, I was given a diagnosis of ovarian cancer. Her ovarian cancer, stage three, and after being told she needed extensive treatment, she says she remembered thinking. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do to fix it? So I had an incredible, I had an incredible support team around me. That support team came from Pink Ribbon Girls. We provide free meals, house cleaning, transportation, peer support, and education. Jan Middleton is the Director of Community Partnerships and Education for Pink Ribbon Girls. The organization has been around for a number of years and helping women with breast cancer survive. But now they're expanding their role, adding reproductive cancers and also those who are previvors. Previvors are those that have genetic testing and find out they are more at risk for a certain cancer. Mary Susan, it turns out, is a previvor for breast cancer. So um, in the end of October, I've chosen to go ahead and have a prophylactic double mastectomy as a preventative measure. That's my next step. So when Mary Susan has that breast removal surgery, thanks to its expanded mission, Pink Ribbon Girls will be there for her. We want to step in and just ease their burden a little bit and say, you focus on you. You spend that time with your family. We come in and let us relieve a little bit of that daily burden life and just fight. You see, Jan Middleton knows. I'm a nine year breast cancer survivor. That every burden is lighter when shared. They are able to lend the helping hand and the support that I'll need, you know, after that. Um, and I, I just think it's wonderful. Turns out, you see, that pink is even more beautiful with a touch of teal. That's the color worn to support ovarian and other cancers linked to reproductive health. These are shared experiences, and, and they're a part of us now. They are Pink Ribbon Girls. Liz Bonus, Local 12 News. And Pink Ribbon Girls doesn't charge for any of these services. They were able to provide more than 60,000 meals and other services to families last year. We have a link if you or someone you love needs help at local12.com. Wonderful, generous people. We're the first.